Good morning, everyone. So, me and Jay are chilling. Um, I actually just came. Uh, I just got home. Today was grandparents' lunch day at London School. So, I took London. Yeah. Took her to school this morning. Then my dad came over. So, I showed him where the school was at and all of that. Um... I was gonna go do a couple things, but I didn't really like feel like it. I went in the Dollar Tree, didn't really see what I wanted, so I came back home. I actually I went and got me a, um a iced coffee from Burger King, so delicious. So I'm back home with Jay. Home is uh slightly sleepy. And she's definitely like her mama. Cause she can never be still. Neither London can either, really. Um. But yeah, so we sleepy. So we sleepy. We're watching Miraculous. As usual, all, like we haven't seen all the episodes yet. But I want to figure out what I'm going to cook for dinner. Not really sure yet, but something. So yeah, I hang out with her for a minute. I'm about to go lay her down. Well, I'm gonna hang, lay her down, and I don't really have too much of anything to clean up today. <clears throat> Probably just lay on the sofa and finish watching 13 Reasons Why, and edit and post. So yeah, but I'll talk to y'all a little bit later today. Um. Also, before I go, I went to Ross. Last night, got a few little items. I'll probably just like put them in this vlog or whatever because it's not really a whole lot to just say. I'm going to make a whole um, haul about because I only got a few shirts and a pair of pants. Actually, this shirt is from there. It says "Blessed." Um. It says bliss and then on the back it says start every morning with a grateful heart or every day with a grateful heart either way it go i love that like i love the meaning behind the shirt just because i'm really on the like i told y'all in my coming back video that i'm definitely on a spiritual journey health journey just to better me being more positive journey um you know and just trying to be grateful about everything because i'm never not grateful about everything that i have but now, you know, I really try and look at the good and not really the bad and try and be more, you know, thankful for stuff. So, you know, in me doing that, I don't, you know, like get as down about stuff. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. I'll probably go lay her down in a few minutes and go grab this stuff and show y'all what I got. So, yeah. Continue on to the next clip. Hey y'all, I'm back. So, as I stated, I'm gonna do like a mini uh, Ross haul, like what I got from Ross yesterday. As I told y'all, I got this shirt. This is Bliss. And on the back, it says, start every day with a grateful heart. Which I really, really like that. And I also got the Um, I don't remember how, who the shirt is by, but the pants from Go Go Star. Um, and they were $9.99. Next, I have this really, really cute top. And all this stuff was actually on clearance. Which is crazy because it's like stuff that's going into fall. And I think it's so cute. This shirt is by Lily White. It's a large. And the original price is $12.99. And I got it for $9.99. So this is really, really cute. I might 
insert some pictures of me wearing the shirts because as you see they still have the tag on i have not worn any of them yet i've tried them all on though i got this shirt whom is by moa moa i guess it's a medium and it's really really cute like it's so comfy then it has like the little three-quarter sleeves and on the back it's just really simple i thought i was like okay i can either wear me a cute bralette under here you know what i'm saying show the girls you know um and this one was originally 12.99 i got it for 8.99 this is the tag on it now it's crazy because the most expensive thing was the pants and like these shirts that are 9.99 I also got this little tank, you know, which is like super popular. It's like a longer cropped shirt. And it's originally $4.99. I got it for $2.49. And it's by Orange Kiss. And it's a large. It fits really, really nice. Like, I love it. And I also got this ribbed shirt. Just like extremely cute. It's by Elite Collection. It's a large. The original price was $7.99. I got it for $5.49. So like this is like super cute. Like all this stuff is like super comfy. Like I've been trying to get out of wearing workout clothes all the time. Because y'all know usually I have on like a just regular t-shirt and a pair of workout pants. But I have on jeans today. But I'm about to go soak these jeans to get whatever this is out of it. Um, which I'm highly upset that some got on my pants already. Um, this is like, I love this little shirt here. It's by Iris. Fun fact, I have a cousin named Iris. And it's a large and it's originally priced $8.99 and I got it for $4.49. And it comes with a little, you know, spaghetti straps on there. But I don't think I'm going to wear the little spaghetti straps on there. And it's kind of like a little crop situation. It's like a, a mustardy yellow almost. And it has the flowers. It has the little sleeves. And on the sleeves, there's a bow. What? And I, you know, still kind of. And see, I'm in the south. So it's still hot. Like, you can still get away with this. Because it's going to be summer until pff, almost Halloween out here probably. Like, hopefully the tip starts to drop within somewhere in this month, leading into next month, but I doubt it. And this shirt, I absolutely, positively love this shirt. And it is by Leo for Truth. It's a, I think it's a large as well. It was originally $9.99 and I got it for $4.99. Y'all, I am a clearance track baby. I don't care what you say, what's going on. I feel like you can always get some for a deal. And it also comes with the extra button, which is always good. But my boyfriend was like, it reminds him of a pajama shirt. He gets on my nerves. But it's just this really nice striped tank. Which is more of a, a dressy type tank. So I cannot wait to wear this. Um, I have those items. I have like a bunch of different jeans and things that I can wear with this stuff. I have a bunch of different pants and like skirts and stuff that I want to pair with this stuff. Like stuff that I don't usually get a chance to wear. You know, I found me some tops that can go with some different stuff. And I am quick to throw on a pair of jeans because I like to always have pockets. Because sometimes I don't want to carry my, you know, my phone and stuff. Just stick everything in my pockets, have on a cute top, and we're good to go. Plus, you know, jeans, comfy. I can run with my kids. Um, so, I'm really happy about getting all that. Um, if you wonder how much I spent in all, the total was $73.99. So, minus that by like $14, $14, $15, because my mom, she got a pair of pants. So, I pretty much spent like $60. Yeah, 60 ish, somewhere in there. Um, so yeah, but I feel like that was a great deal to get a pair of jeans one, two, three, 
four, five, six, like six, seven shirts. Um, and then, you know, another pair of pants. But I'm really just trying to, you know, I feel as if if I get up and I get dressed in the morning time, I actually look like somebody. I'll feel a little bit better about myself. Um, my workout journey right now, <laughs> no, it's very non-existent um, just because in the morning times I have been having to, I've been running late. Like I've been going back to where I've been having a hard time sleeping at night. So it's making me wake up later which in that case i don't have time to you know get all the completely dressed and fed and all that stuff before we take london to school then go walking and once i come back home leaving back out is not an option and their dad has been at work a whole lot this week so he's been working all day every day all night so haven't really you know had time to go work out and then working out at home like y'all i have this julian michaels um workout dvd i tried that the other day and the bottom of my foot started hurting my whole body i felt like it was about to just shut down i was like nope not for me leave that alone but you know i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna attempt it you know i just not really wasn't really feeling that or whatever but I'm also thinking about putting together a lookbook, like just matching some of my new stuff and my old stuff. If I can remember where I got the stuff from, I'll definitely, you know, let you guys know, tell you where I got it from, what, you know, so on and so forth. But if not, then we just go not worry about that. Um, But, you know, just like mixing and matching stuff, uh, pretty much showing y'all like my style, like how I like to dress outside of y'all seeing me in. <laughs> You know, workout shirt, my my sports bra, and a pair of workout pants, and my house shoes. Like, cause honestly, I used to love to dress up. Like, I would get dressed all the time. Like, people will tell you it was rare. You see me without my hair done, without makeup on, um, without being actually dressed. Once I had the second baby, and I went through a lot that year was kind of depressed i just really didn't feel like me like it took me a moment to get back into loving myself and now i recently i went back through a depression so and my anxiety is like like my depression and my anxiety is doing this all the time and i'm just like it's hard but i'm like okay i'm gonna try and, you know at least keep my nails done i try and keep my toes painted so you know i feel kind of feminine i try and you know do my hair and I figured if I cut my hair, I have no choice but to do my hair. Like right now, you know, for me having my hair curled a little bit yesterday, I just kind of put a scarf on it or whatever. But even then still, I feel like I just kind of, uh, you know, it gives it a little bit of body. And, you know, I still feel like nice and feminine and cute. I try on my earrings, my bracelets. I always have my watch on. Um, Fun fact, y'all. My watch, this is, this is the pink band. The shirt is pink. I don't really like pink. My daughter loves pink and i think nala is transitioning into <laughs> went like like in pink which she's supposed to be napping because it is almost one and i'll leave to go get her sister about an hour hour and a half and uh i need her to take a nap but she'll probably just lay there and watch tv which is fine with me um but yes i'll probably make a video on how to love yourself but yeah we're just gonna talk about that right now um i'm not gonna say just like tips and tricks on tips and tricks on how to love yourself per se but what i'm doing right now so what i like to do really is if i get up early enough i actually like to give me a cup of tea because coffee in my tummy who like i drink that coffee i need to go straight to the bathroom and it's not you know happening um, so, you know, I try and give me a cup of tea to wake myself up or a bottle of water or something to, you know, get my body going. I try and always make sure I eat breakfast because then I don't feel so, uh, you know, I try and keep myself moving, you know, because if I keep myself active and focused and trying to be productive, I don't feel so down and things like that. But also the major thing that I'm doing to help me feel better about life is protecting my peace like 
I used to let people bother me, like things that were going around me. I used to let that type of stuff bother me. And I would like talk to my boyfriend about certain stuff. And he was just like, babe, you know, what other people have going on, that's their business. You know, if they talk to you about it, cool, but don't let it affect you. You know, um, when people bring nonsense to you, don't let that affect you or whatever. So I started doing that. Like, if I know that you're coming to me with negative stuff, I don't really want to talk about it. I don't really want to be around it. If we're not going to be around each other, laugh, talk, have a good time, I don't really want to be bothered. I don't really put myself in the presence of a whole lot of people um, because everybody vibes and all that stuff is not always good. Um, I try to, you know, say little prayers here and there to kind of, you know, get me going. Um, another thing that I try and do is always make sure that we're doing something fun. Um, like my happy place is my kids and my boyfriend. So I try and make sure I equally get time with them together with each kid separately, the girls together and then him. Because, you know, I feel as if me spending time with them, me making them happy makes me happy. You know, like my kids, to see Nala in London laugh and smile makes me so happy. Um, it's just like, my kids love me. Um, but that's just, those are just some of the things I'm doing to try and, you know, be in a happier place to love myself. Um, I also try and just look in the mirror and just like, you know what, you're beautiful, you're strong, you're smart, you got this. You may not be where you want to be in life yet, but you're getting there. Like, I realized that me focusing on YouTube, even though my YouTube, I don't have a huge platform. I don't have a lot of followers at the moment. But I'm going to speak it into life that I will, that I will have a successful platform, that I will have a large following, that I will be able to engage with other women, um, people in general, um, and be able to, you know, touch somebody and then focusing on trying to figure out, you know, me and building a brand from myself and figuring out what I want to do. Like I've been focusing on that. And working towards that and me doing that is making me feel better about myself because at that point I don't feel as if I'm just not doing anything because sometimes me being a stay-at-home mom I feel as if I'm not doing enough although I know that being a stay-at-home mom is a lot because I cook multiple times a day I clean multiple times a day I take care of the kids most of the time You'll notice it's just me and it's just me and the kids. So that means it's not like he doesn't help because he does. He's a great help because if I'm tired and he's home, he's going to cook. He's going to clean up. He's going to keep the kids. He's going to do all of that. But ultimately, he works most of the time. So in being a stay at home, I get, I get so wrapped up in it, you know, and I feel like YouTube is that, that raving time, that time for me to do something for myself. Um, that way for me to engage with other people outside of my children. Um, yeah, so me trying to, you know, work on my goals, work towards my goals. Also, I need to get back on walking because when I walk and I sweat and I feel lighter, I feel better about myself. Um, because I'm not like, I'm not like super huge, but... I'm five, two and a half. So when I gain weight, like it shows, you know, most of the time it goes to the booty and the boobs first, then the stomach. And we're like, Pfft. like right now I got a little cool muffin top going on right now, but y'all can't see all that because we from here. Good thing for great camera angles. But those are just some of the things that I'm doing to, you know, love me more. Um. As I showed y'all in the previous video, I have a journal, pretty much, well, a notebook for YouTube, and I have another one. Now, I'm going to use the other one just to write down daily, you know, like, what I did today, what I learned today, if I felt bad about anything, what did I feel bad about, um, what I realized that day that I can work on or whatever, just to kind of keep me on track and focused 
on what's going on in life around me because I have a tendency to just live life and not pay attention to life. You know what I'm saying? Not not stop and smell the roses, not really focus on what's going on around me. And I really want to make sure I do that so, you know, I can better myself. Um, also, trying to find me a work from home job because of the way our schedules are set up. It's kind of hard for me to be gone all day long. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's see. I wish I kind of would have wrote this down, but this is kind of like an impromptu situation. And I've actually been talking for a good little minute. Um, but I also want to engage with you guys. I really, really, I pray and I hope that this video touches somebody else. And that, you know, if if you have any, you know, questions or concerns, or, you know what I'm saying, if you have any tips or your tips or whatever on how you learn to love yourself, you know, put yourself first because I have a, t I definitely have a tendency to put everybody in this household before me. And then when I realized once I started to do that, I go, Shh. and then I like freak out. Like I cry a lot. I'm just not happy. I'm emotional. But as in now, as in me put myself first, like make sure I should make sure I get my shower. You know what I'm saying? Make sure, you know, I moisturize and give myself that time to be me and do something small for myself every day. Even if that is me moisturizing. Because for a long time, y'all, I went with just slapping on a little lotion just in case if I was going somewhere. And then boom, that was it. But now, you know, I try and put on my earrings. I try and put on my bracelets, my watch, whatever, you know. And look like somebody to help me. Um, but yeah, I would love to see how other women love themselves um and how you're being in a better place so you know what advice would you give other women who are you know going through something or are learning to rebuild themselves and it's really hard it's sometimes it's really hard to rebuild yourself in a relationship so and when you have kids so yeah if you guys have anything to add please put it down in the comment section um and i will definitely respond as soon as possible also please 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 subscribe like this video and comment and share like i would really really i will love you so much for that honeys um also hit the notification bell so you guys can know when i post i try and post every day every other day um I'm trying to daily vlog but sometimes you know it's kind of gets repetitive because my life is slightly repetitive and i'm trying to throw little things in there different every day but yes please 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 like comment share and subscribe and i love you guys and i'll talk to you guys in my next video see ya